Today is the first Members' Day uh, of the new Parliament. We start off uh, as normal with uh, questions. Uh, today we've got some pretty intense questions happening to the Prime Minister and the Deputy Prime Minister. Uh, there's a lot of discussion going on about uh, 38 or 33 page uh, documents which uh, may or may not be government documents. Uh, and uh, Paula Bennett is asking questions uh, both to Jacinda Ardern uh, and the Right Honourable Winston Peters uh, on that. Uh, the Minister of Finance has got a few questions. There's questions on uh, economic development uh, and, and it could be a pretty exciting question time. Today is the first general debate of the new parliament. Members can talk about anything they want. This debate can get pretty rowdy. And then we go on to members' orders of the day. We're likely to have about four of them uh, on the agenda today. Uh, the first two are pretty uh, sort of uh, much unanimous as far as the Parliament's concerned. Uh, films, videos and publications classification, interim restriction orders amendment bill, uh, third reading, it's a bill in the name of Chris Bishop. Um, it, it's one which has picked up a fault in the Act uh, something that people uh, weren't happy with uh, and, and it will uh, remedy, remedy that. Then going through to the uh, Private International Choice of Law and Tort Bill um, and it's the third reading. Now this is a real lawyers, lawyers uh, bill um, and, and it provides um, clarification uh, to the courts um, about which law uh, is applicable in matters of tort. Now, I'm not going to pretend to be an expert in this, uh, but again, it was a gap in the law that needed fixing up. The, the next bill, Rates Rebate Retirement Villages Amendment Bill, uh, in the name of the Honourable Ruth Dyson, is likely to be controversial. Uh, at the moment, people, uh, pensioners and others on lower income, can get a rates rebate. But if they happen to live in a retirement village, uh, they can't. This bill sets to remedy it. There's a question from the opposition about whether it does a good job or not. Uh, so I think there will be some pretty lively debate on that, uh, as there will be on the employment relations, allowing higher earners to contract out of personal grievance provisions amendment bill in the name of Brett Hudson. Uh, this is something which the National Party very strongly supported. It's something that the Labour Party uh, opposed, and because it didn't go through before the election, it's likely to, to uh, not succeed in its second reading. Uh, we'll find that out later on tonight.